Hey guys, it's Nick, and we have some following up news from the Taylor Hall to the Chicago Blackhawks trade. Yes, the Blackhawks acquired one other player in the trade, and that was being veteran, former captain of the Columbus Blue Jackets, Nick Foligno. As of the trade, he was only a UFA, and I kind of thought, okay, I expect the Hawks to probably be signing him to a contract extension uh, for the team. And they do. They make the announcement a little bit about 15 hours later. And that is Nick Foligno signed to a one-year deal for $4 million cap hit. That's a high cap hit, but, well, the Hawks are trying to get to the cap floor. The Hawks now have $10 million locked up on both uh Taylor Hall and Nick Foligno for this upcoming season. I get it. Foligno probably on the open market probably would have been fetching about one in the ones to uh, one mid one millions to two and a half million range, but he's going to be getting paid this season for the Hawks for $4 million. Okay. High cap hit. But let's be honest, what does Foligno bring to the Hawks that they kind of are lacking? Veteran presence and leadership quality. I get it. We have our leadership core quality player in Connor Murphy, who, in my opinion, is the unofficial captain of the Chicago Blackhawks. I don't think they're going to name a captain, captain this upcoming season, but... We'll see what happens there because we all know Jonathan Taza isn't returning to the Hawks. But Nick Foligno brings a veteran leadership quality to the Hawks um, forward core. He's probably going to be playing bottom uh, line minutes, but whatever. He brings leadership to the locker room for the young players coming up. And I like that. Are we overpaying Felino? Yes. But does it affect the Hawks in any way? No, it really doesn't hurt the Hawks in any way because the Hawks have a ton of salary cap space to add. They don't have to worry too much about salary cap space for a while because this is only a one-year deal and it's not going to hurt the Hawks in any way because how the Hawks uh, cap structure is i will pull that up right now it's not too terrible because they are sitting with a total amount of cap space of 27 million dollars 27 and a half million dollars roughly that's a lot of cap space and they can still sign players this upcoming Saturday. Maybe bringing back a Max Domi. Maybe signing a JT Comfer. Who knows? This signing for Nick Foligno, what it brings, the Hawks have a veteran present leader in the locker room. And that is going to be something this team is going to want to have for the young players coming up. And, well... Felino coming to the Hawks, I liked it. He, I get it at the back end of his career, but he brings that quality of leadership with him to a locker room. And I think he kind of fits what the Hawks are looking for on the bottom two lines. May have to play last minutes, but let's be honest. He was doing that with the Bruins, and he did okay with it. Last season alone with the Bruins, he actually had a um, pretty good season, if I remember correctly, by uh, pulling up his um, hockey reference. He ended up the season with 10 goals, 16 assists for 26 points in 60 games played with the Bruins. That's actually not bad for a player on the back, back end of his career. So Nick Foligno signed for one year, $4 million. Also, this was a okay deal for me, even though high cap it. Down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts are on the signing. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, 
we're getting super close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. As of the time of me recording this video, we are currently 31 subscribers away from hitting 1,000. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, one day till Connor Bedard.